generally and kind of classify that as international or intercultural outreach and then local outreach. Okay. And strategically speaking, there's there's some pretty big differences there. Um, you know, when you talk about um, reaching out to our neighbors here, um, there are at least three barriers that you'd face in international missions that you don't face when you're talking about local mission. Um, number one, there's no cultural barrier. Hopefully I, I share the same culture as my neighbors, so there's not a new culture for me to learn and assimilate to. Um, number two, um, a language barrier is removed. Hopefully I also speak the same language as the, the people across the street from me. Um, and number three, cost. There's not really a significant cost associated with local missions, especially um, in comparison to international missions. Right. So, we see, number one, that strategically speaking, there are some definite advantages to local missions, and then we turn our attention to Scripture, and we see that there's definitely an imperative laid on the New Testament for the believer to be evangelizing the people they come in contact with. So, not only are we commanded to, but there are also some advantages to local missions that aren't shared in international missions. Um, Does it feel